We offer both bespoke and accredited training for staff who are at the coalface working with customers or clients that equips them to be able to better support those clients or customers um, and that involves mental health awareness, signs and symptoms, understanding different diagnoses, also about how to support someone practically, so the types of questions to ask, where to signpost people to. So we're looking to work with businesses, voluntary agencies, statutory agencies that have a passion and are invested in the well-being of their employees or perhaps the clients or customers that they work with. And the first steps to that would be looking on our website. We have a whole page dedicated to workplace well-being and from there we would look to have a first meeting with those organisations to look at how we can support them and move forward. We've commissioned mine to come in and do some work with managers and staff in the college. Um, the, the training that we've rolled out has been eye-opening for me, um, some very powerful videos which have really brought home how um, uh, depression, low mood, stress and anxiety can, can touch on any one of us at a, a, a number of times throughout our life. The training has definitely helped me to develop additional skills, uh, particularly around giving mental health equal weighting with physical health difficulties and being more mindful of the symptoms that potentially present in staff when they might be experiencing mental health difficulties. Staff need to feel they have the understanding and the experience and the confidence to be able to enter into dialogue, to signpost people uh, in, in the right direction, to get the right support um, at a, an early sort of a, a time scale, an early part. Uh, um, I feel that uh, in our work with uh, um, MIND, that actually I suppose you've given us as an, as an institution the confidence to have those conversations, to be more open about it. We'd be very happy to talk to staff when they come back from a broken leg and say, well, how's the leg? Is it mending all the rest? We struggle far more sometimes with those conversations with staff who are coming back, uh, um, possibly from, from uh, stress or from other uh, uh, mental health issues. And I think it's understanding that it's okay to actually think about how you might want to, to talk about that. At the college here, staff have had the opportunity to, to speak confidentially to the mental health first aid trainer who we've had in on site. Being confident with service, I don't know who's um, uh, specifically approached her, um, but what I do know is that the service has been really well received, that the feedback that we've had has shown that it's really had a life-changing effect on, on, on some of our staff here. The difficulty when you, as a colleague, are suffering with some kind of mental health issue is that you become isolated and the isolation grows deeper and the barrier becomes even thicker and higher. And so having this training offers the opportunity for staff to be observant. Mental health awareness is very important to us uh, within the NHS service. Uh, we have noticed an increase in demand dramatically from patients requiring support and guidance. And for us, we felt that our staff should be able to help patients. We sort of identified a gap in our knowledge that we were unable to fill, which is where MIND have come in to provide that training for us. So since the MIND training that we've had, our um, same-day care clinicians now are happy to pick up the calls um, with patients who have mental health problems, whereas before they would have left those for the, the doctors to pick up. When we started to look um, at how we can support our workforce with mental health matters, um, it's two years ago now, it was really important to us as a college to try and keep things local. Um, but at the same time, we wanted to have something that was credible and, and nationally recognised. So for us, working with the local MIND branch was kind of a win-win situation. I certainly think working with MIND um, allows organisations and staff within those organisations to have um, healthy conversations about mental health. I think we recognise it as being a, an issue uh, for all of us, both in and out of different organisations, but I think the advantage for any business is understanding that actually if your staff, uh, and the well-being of your staff is key, it's your most valuable asset. So the more healthy that they are, both physically and mentally, 
uh, um, that's going to improve within the productivity of that business. We've received the Health at Work um, Charter Mark as a result of working with Mind and I very much put a lot of the partnership work that we've done with Mind um, as, a, as a key uh, part of us receiving that accreditation Charter Mark. I would certainly uh, advocate any company uh, uh, working with Mind to bring it to the fore more, to understand it's a real issue, that actually this is about supporting staff. This actually has an impact on the organisation uh, later on in terms of uh, having a more uh, healthy uh, uh, staff who you know, you have less days of, of leave if you're actually sort of triggering and dealing with this at an early stage. Uh, 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 so yeah, we would be we're very pleased to be working with mine and certainly want to be uh, continuing with that relationship.